Let's meet the starters. Number one, Briali, is owned by Tom and Mary Alice Tietrich of Jeff, trained and driven by Tom Tietrich. Number two, Gladys Light, is owned by Ron Pine of Marshall, trained by Charles Allen Finn. Roy Finn will drive. Number three, She Flies Two, is owned by Brandy Malloy of West Salem, trained and driven by Pat Malloy, Jr. Number four, Cullen's Dancer, is owned by Larry Brad Price of Carrollton, trained by Adrian Price, Jr., the driver, Dave McGee. Number five, Holly's Topaz is scratched, and the six, Arts Foxley Express is scratched. Seven, Incredible Broad, is owned by Allen and Jacqueline Bowen of Mount Sterling, and Ron Lennon of Monmouth, trained and driven by Allen Bowen. Number eight, Oh My Golly, owned by Ray Martin of Fairfield, trained by Mac Wilson, the driver is Earl Reed. Number nine, Free For All, is owned by Kenyon Walker of Springfield and Ron Phillips of Petersburg, trained by Kenyon Walker, the driver, Ron Marsh. And number 10, D.P. Zanna, is owned by H. Phil Pierce of Carmi, owned also by D.W. Ackerman of Carmi and Buddy Simpson of Fairfield, trained by Buddy Clay Simpson is the driver for D.P. Zanna. Post time on this Illinois bred event coming up in four minutes at DeCoin. They are at the post, the gates rolling for race six at DuCoin. Here they come. They're off in pacing. DP Zanna up on the far outside. Incredible Broad is between horses. And now Incredible Broad moves up and gets the lead into the first turn. She flies two is right behind her. DP Zanna moves up three wide. And Free For All is there in between horses as they move toward the quarter. DP Zanna finally clears the inside traffic, gets the lead, gets over next to the rail. DP Zanna leads it by a length and a half. Incredible Broad will go second. Free For All third. Then She flies two. Briali and Gladys Light followed by Cullen's Dancer and Oh My Golly last. 29 and 4 was the time for the opening quarter. DP's Anna leads it by a length. Here comes Free For All to the outside from third. Now second, and Free For All will have the lead before they get to the three eighths. Free For All is on top by a length and a half. DP's Anna's second, and Credit Broad is racing in third. She Flies 2 is fourth. Briali is fifth. Gladys Light is sixth. Then Cullen's Dancer seventh, and Oh My Golly is eighth. They are single file past the half mile mark. And they're being led by Free For All by a length. DP's Anna chasing her, the half in a minute, three-fifths. Incredible Broad is third at the entry to the far turn. Then she flies two. Gladys Light is fifth on the outside. She's six lengths off the lead, however. Then Briali, Collins Dancer, and Oh My Golly is last. Midway on the turn, Free For All leads it by a length and a half. DP's Anna second. Here comes Incredible Broad to the outside from third. Still two lengths off the lead. A gap of two to Gladys Light. Then she flies two back toward the rail, followed by Collins Dancer, who is still six lengths off the leader. Turning for home is Free For All with Incredible Broad drawing alongside three quarters and one thirty and two fifths. Free For All leads it. Incredible Broad is just off the leader's flank as they move by the eighth pole. It is still Free For All leading it by a length and a half, two lengths now. Incredible Broad has leveled off. DP Zanna tries to come back toward the rail, followed by Gladys Light, and she flies two. It is Free For All hanging tough and drawing. Drawing clear, Free For All wins it by some three lengths. It was Gladys Light home second. Collins Dancer got third up on the grandstand side in 158 and four. Into the winner's circle for race six at DuCoin, picking up a new lifetime record of 158 and four. Folks, how about a hand for number nine, Free For All, Ron Marsh with the winning drive. Kenyon Walker is the trainer, and he's also the co-owner. He's from Springfield, and Ron Phillips of Petersburg also owns an interest in this two-year-old Johnny A. Heritage filly who was bred by Ron Phillips, the former sheriff of Menard County. And that makes the second trip to the winner's circle tonight for Findlay, Ohio native Ron Marsh and Son Dean of the state of Illinois making the trophy presentation. Result is official. The 9-2 exacta, $39.20. We'll have the trifecta and the rundown next. 